Hi, I'm Shayla from Texas, and I'm a child genius. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. I was only six when I discovered I was what people called gifted. I was at my friend's birthday party, and we were having a contest on who could solve a Rubik's Cube first. Well, I solved it in 19 seconds. <sighs> mommy, 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 she cheated! That's crazy! How could I cheat? You were watching me the whole time! Stop lying, Shayla. There's no way you could solve the Rubik's Cube that fast. Now go sit in the corner. But that's so unfair! I didn't want to play more party games after that because all the kids kept calling me a cheat. When I got home, I told my parents what happened and a few days later, they had me tested. And it turned out, I had an insanely high IQ, just like my mom, who was a respected neurologist. Cool, right? Well, not exactly. I got moved up two grades, which meant I was the youngest in the class. And no one wanted to be friends with a little six-year-old who was every teacher's favorite. By the time I got to high school, I felt like a total outcast. One night in ninth grade, I was home alone even though it was Valentine's Day. And tons of kids at school were out on dates. Knock, knock. I have a Valentine's Day present for you, sweetie. Thanks. At least I have one Valentine tonight even if it is just my mom. Here, open this box. I pulled out a bracelet with an infinity symbol on it. What's this? Shayla, people like you and I, we're not like everyone else. We're smarter and 10 times more special. This is an infinity bracelet. And remember that nobody can hold you back from your potential. Do you understand? I, I think so. After that night with mom, I decided it was time to change my attitude and stop feeling sorry for myself. So for the first time during lunch, I decided to eat in the cafeteria with everyone else instead of alone in the janitor's closet. Then suddenly, as I was walking, a flyer hit me smack in the face. Greetings, miss. May I interest you in joining the most amazing club in all of Texas? The humble mathletes. Uh, what are the mathletes? Ugh, ignore him. His name is Nolan and he's the new kid. He's trying to recruit fellow dorks to compete in math tournaments across Texas. Well, I think math is fun. Sign me up. Cool. I don't usually allow younger kids on my team, but I'll make an exception. Ugh. I ended up joining Nolan's math team and the two of us became friends. Nolan wasn't gifted the way I was, but he was still smart and a really sweet guy. Finally, the day of our state tournament arrived and my mom called to tell me that she was coming. I can't believe it. My mom never takes a day off from work. Nolan, we have to win today. I really want to make her proud. Calm down, girl. We're going to crush this tournament. Nolan pulled me into a hug, and for some reason, it made my stomach do cartwheels. The competition went well, but in the final round, Nolan got two answers wrong, and that cost us the first place trophy. Oh well, second place it is then. How about we celebrate with milkshakes and an MSA marathon? I was about to agree when I saw mom standing behind me with a very disappointed face. I excused myself to talk to her. Why were you so happy back there? You're not embarrassed that you got second place? Hey, second place is still really good. Shayla, why are you friends with someone like Nolan? He's obviously not very bright. It's his fault you didn't win. Mom, don't talk that way. Nolan is really smart and we've become good friends. Suddenly, mom took my wrist and started to unclasp the infinity bracelet. <gasps> what are you doing? I shouldn't have given this to you, Shayla. You don't seem to care much about unlocking your potential. I'll just have to live with the disappointment. No, stop. I do care. I'm going to make things right. Just give me a chance. I ended up riding home with dad without saying goodbye to Nolan. And the next day at school, I tried avoiding him until he showed up at my locker. Hey, sunshine. I thought we were going to celebrate, but you left. Are you okay? Nolan, we can't be friends anymore. What? Why? You want me to be honest? Of course. You're not smart the way I am. You're average at best. And if we continue hanging out, you're just going to hold me back. I'm so sorry. I ran away before Nolan could answer, feeling horrible. Nolan didn't speak to me again after that, and I didn't blame him. Then two months later, my life took a turn. Mom was offered a research position in China. So does that mean we're moving to China? No, only I'm moving, and I'm divorcing your father. I just can't have anyone in my way right now. But don't worry, you and I will keep in touch. Mom kissed my cheek, and tears filled my eyes. After Mom left, 
I tried to keep busy and comfort Dad, who wasn't taking the divorce too well. One afternoon, I was sitting on the porch when I saw a van pull into our driveway. A lady came out and, to my surprise, it was my first grade teacher. Mrs. Johnson? Is that you? Shayla? I haven't seen you since they pulled you out of my class to move you up two grades. Miss Johnson invited me to dinner that night, but while we were eating, she kept asking me if something was wrong, and I just couldn't hold it in. I told Miss Johnson all about mom leaving and how hard school was and how much I missed Nolan. It doesn't matter though, I just need to focus on myself and my goals. <laughs> I remember I was just like you, Shayla. My grades and my dreams meant everything to me. But I realized over time that part of success is also about being happy. No offense, but that sounds like a cheesy quote you'd read on Instagram. Maybe, but it's true. Try doing at least one thing that makes you happy this week, sweetheart. I was exhausted from finals. So that week, I decided to take Miss Johnson's advice. I went to the community pool to sunbathe when I tripped over a crack in the sidewalk. Whoa, easy. Oh, thanks. At that moment, I realized the lifeguard was Daryl, the most popular guy in school. I usually save people from water, not concrete. You look familiar. I feel like I know you from somewhere. What's your name? I was about to tell him, but then I paused. Boys like Daryl usually never talk to me, and I wanted to start off on the right foot. I'm Cher. I'm Cher, like the singer. <laughs> and you're pretty like her, too. I'm having a party tonight. How about you be my date? Whoa, did he just ask me out? Of course, I said yes. And that night, I got super dolled up for the party and even bought a new dress. The party was so much fun, and I danced with Daryl for hours. And when I saw the other kids at school there, I told them I'd changed my name. Because, well, I had a chance to be a new me. At one point, I had to go to the bathroom, but I opened the wrong door, which apparently was a bedroom. Oh my god, what are you doing in my room? Nolan? I… this is Daryl's house. Yeah, and my mom and I moved in here two weeks ago. Daryl's my cousin. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course you didn't. Daryl doesn't want to be associated with nerds. How did you get invited here anyway? Actually, I'm not a nerd anymore. I've decided to change. Also, my name isn't Shayla anymore. It's Cher. Cher? Yeah. So, if you could call me that from now on… No, I don't have the time or energy for this. Go back to the party, will you? And don't walk by my room again. Nolan slammed the door in my face and I felt bad. But I really didn't want to deal with the drama at the moment. I just wanted to have fun. A week later, Daryl and I started dating. I asked everyone to start calling me Cher instead of Shayla, and just like that, I became popular. I started dressing differently, and I didn't wear my infinity bracelet anymore. One day at school, the teacher handed back last week's physics exam, and even though I hadn't studied as much, I got 100. I was grinning to myself during recess when Daryl took the paper out of my hand. What you got there, babe? <laughs> Whoa, you got 100 on a physics test? <sighs> What are you, some kind of computer bot? No, my brain just works a little differently than other people. Like a little Miss Smarty Pants? Wait, are you one of those nerds who thinks she's better than the rest of us just because she can memorize a few extra facts? I thought you were cool. I am cool. You know what? It was just dumb luck that I got full marks. Who? <laughs> I thought we might have to break up. <laughs> Daryl and his friends made it clear they hated nerds. So for the next few weeks, I purposely failed all of my tests and didn't do any homework, which they all high-fived me for. The end of the semester school party came around, and the theme was game night. Daryl and his friends just wanted to play foosball and table tennis, but I couldn't help being distracted by a bunch of kids playing trivia. What is a five-pointed star called in geometry? Time's ticking away, guys. This is a crucial round. Anyone in the room who knows what the answer is? Why would anyone know that, loser face? Can you stop ruining the party and have your geek-a-thon somewhere else? I knew the answer, but of course, I stayed quiet. But I wasn't having any fun with my friends either. Daryl was busy with the boys, and the girls kept commenting how my dress wasn't flattering and how my pink lipstick wasn't a good color on me. Can you stop criticizing me already? At least I don't, um, have her outfit. That's really hideous. The girl I'd pointed at turned around, and suddenly, I felt really guilty. Why had I said that? Just then, Nolan came and took the girl's hand. Leave my date alone. She looks beautiful tonight. Oh, 
she's your date? Yup. She joined the mathletes right after you left. Nolan put his arm around the girl, and I tried to push the feeling I had away. Was it jealousy? The party sucked, and I decided to go home early. But when I arrived, Dad called me into the living room and said Mom was on a video call and wanted to talk to me urgently. Shayla, is that really you? I've never seen you wear so much makeup. It's not that much makeup. I was just at a party. Oh, I see. Partying on a school night? Well, that would explain the email I got from your principal today, calling me in for a meeting to discuss your grades. You've been failing your classes? Um, yeah. I didn't do so well in a few tests, but I can make up for it. Really? Because your principal said that if you fail even one more exam, they'll put you on academic probation. Can you imagine how I felt reading that? Wait, where's your bracelet? Well, it doesn't match with the new clothes I wear now. What? I gave you that bracelet because I wanted to inspire you to live up to your limitless potential. But instead, you've turned out to be a complete disappointment. You know what, Mom? I'm not a little girl anymore. I don't need a stupid bracelet to remind me what I'm capable of. Just like I don't need your validation to feel good about myself. This is the first time you've called me in weeks. I'm your daughter. There's more to me than good grades. You don't value me the way I value you. I'm done trying to make our relationship work. As I ran outside my front yard, I suddenly heard a familiar voice. Haven't seen you around in a while. Oh, hi, Miss Johnson. You look lovely tonight. Did you meet a nice boy? <laughs> oh, is that why you haven't been stopping by? I don't know what happened then, but suddenly I ran to Miss Johnson and burst into tears. She hugged me as I told her everything about mom, the bracelet, how Nolan replaced me, and how I'd turned into a superficial bimbo. Oh, Shayla, don't talk about yourself that way. I think I know what the problem is. You do? Yes. First, you tried being who your mom wanted you to be. Then, you tried being who the kids at school thought you should be. You've tried to be everything except yourself. Miss Johnson's words struck a chord in me. I thought about them all weekend, and on Monday, I pulled out the infinity bracelet, but this time, it meant something different to me. I wasn't letting anyone hold me back, and I had to start by making things right with Nolan. Hey, I know it's been a minute, but I'd love to be a mathlete again, if you'll have me. Hmm, let me think. No. Nolan, please, I've changed. I don't wanna be a stuck-up jerk anymore. I'll apologize to your girlfriend for mocking her outfit too. Firstly, she's not my girlfriend. She was just my date that night. And secondly, you're a fake, and I just can't take that person seriously. Cher. Just then, Daryl walked over to us. Hey babe, wanna go with me to a concert tonight? Ugh, why are you talking to him? Because Nolan's my friend. I'm really not. You were at one point. We were on the Mathletes together. The Mathletes? That's a club for losers. You're better than that. Come on, let's go. Daryl started to pull me away, but something inside me snapped. No! I'm staying here with Nolan, and he's not a loser. He's your cousin, and maybe it's time you start treating him with the respect he deserves. I should have treated him better, too. Aw, that's a cute speech. But if you want to be my girlfriend, you can't hang out with my dork cousin or join the mathlete's share. Isn't it obvious that I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore? I feel pathetic that I dumbed myself down to fit in. I'm a nerd, and proud to be one. And just for the record, I know what a five-point star is called in geometry. It's a decagon, and I'm going back to being Shayla. I marched off like a boss, pulling Nolan behind me. You know, maybe you can rejoin the mathletes. We are one team member short, and there is a tournament coming up. Oh my god, you mean I can be on your team again? And you forgive me? Oh, Nolan, thank you! Hey, I didn't say I forgive you, but I do need your brain for the competition. I'm not exactly smart the way you are. Nolan, I'm sorry for saying that. The pressure to succeed turned me into a toxic person. The truth is, I think you're smarter than me. I don't have a quarter of your emotional intelligence. That's nice of you to say. Thanks. Nolan hugged me and I felt my stomach doing cartwheels again. Maybe one day, he could be more than a friend.